Meantime, Adobe shares have been bouncing around after hours after reporting earnings, beat Wall Street estimates for earnings and revenue, giving guidance that topped expectations. And joining us now in an exclusive interview is Adobe Chairman and CEO Shantanu Narayan. Uh, Shantanu, good to see you. Uh, it's my first time talking to you since the passing of Adobe co-founder John Warnock. So my condolences to you and the team. Um, you know, getting into the numbers here, I mentioned uh, the beats. Uh, on enterprise, you had been cautious last quarter. You, you beat uh, expectations this quarter. How did that trend? You know, toward the end, was it stronger? And, and what does that mean? How did that influence your guide? Well, thanks, uh, John, for having me on a sh on the show, as well as acknowledging, uh, you know, the significant accomplishments that uh, John Warnock had, uh, you know, both at Adobe as well as, honestly, his impact on the technology industry. Uh, I know John's incredibly proud of all of the innovation that we've delivered. And when you see how that innovation has actually translated into a great quarter for Adobe, uh, it was a really good quarter across the board. Uh, digital media, digital experience, and as it relates to uh, what you're referring to, namely the enterprise, uh, we had a strong enterprise quarter as well because digital continues to be uh, one of the key areas where IT investment continues, especially in customer experience management. Looking ahead, uh, you guys also have a really good pulse on uh, SMB, particularly in the e-commerce segment. You put out the numbers in Q4 about uh, how e-commerce is trending year over year. How does that look right now relative to your typical year? Are retailers uh, seeming relatively confident? Are they cautious? How is that affecting the way you're looking at that segment? I think overall, as you look at it, John, uh, actually both uh, consumer as well as SMB resilience, I think continues. And uh, for a long time now, we've been talking about will this customer confidence continue? And and I think we've all been uh, pleasantly surprised by how much, uh, you know, it's, it's sustained. And I think as it relates to the spend specifically in digital, uh, that will continue to be a key priority and an imperative for uh, all of those customer segments. Now, yesterday, uh, you had an AI announcement on Firefly coming out of beta, and this is generative AI for images across Photoshop, Illustrator, some other uh, programs. Up to this point, you've said that it, we shouldn't expect, investors shouldn't expect this to have a material impact even in the current quarter in Q4. Uh, is that still the case? And then as we look uh, ahead from there, should we expect perhaps after that quarter to start seeing that impact from this release? Well, first, to put it in perspective, John, I mean, we had four significant announcements on the product side. Uh, as you point out, we announced that Firefly is now commercially available. Uh, that is a creative playground for creative expression. So people can come, they can enter the text prompt. The text prompt will enable them uh, to deliver both images and vectors. And we have a subscription offering for that. Adobe Express, uh, which is the product, it's an all-in-one editor application for anybody who wishes to create any form of content. That has Firefly integrated, and that's also now commercially available. I think where we've seen massive adoption within Photoshop and Illustrator, perhaps an unprecedented beta in terms of the adoption that we have, uh, even uh, Firefly and its ability to... Uh, augment what you can do in Photoshop and Illustrator, that's mm. available. And last but certainly not least, what we've done with the Adobe Gen Studio, which is this vexing problem that every business has in terms of how they can significantly enhance creativity, as well as make all of their content production more automated. So I think it was a massive announcement in terms of our product uh, roadmap. Max is coming up, as you know, where we'll announce a whole bunch of things.